Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Please like and comment on this video. And if you're new, welcome to Sex with S. My name is Salwani M and I am the Sex Conversationalist. So today's video is a story time video. I'm going to be talking about the first time I did the deed. So I kind of like have two first times. These two scenarios, one happened when I was 16 and the other one happened when I was turning 21. I'm going to be walking you guys through the story of my experience. <laughs> when I was 16 I was dating this guy yo guys when do you play I get pulled from yellow trash I remember my friends uh, <laughs> I had to like check out this guy in like the school and then like the other one would drive here to school and now I have to like walk out of school and leave this one and tell him I'm coming and go see this one so my friends would have to walk behind me and drop hints if this one leaves the school so that i can walk right back into school and he can leave and when he's gone i will go back to the second boyfriend <laughs> if he's watching this this it was what it was i've grown i don't do that anymore mm, yeah so what happened when I was 16 was me and this guy, um, we, well, I skipped school to go hang out with him and his friend and my friend came with me. So we went to his friend's house and we were like, you know, two for two, you know, the vibes guys. So he's like to me, like, I don't like kissing in front of like your friend because now I feel like she's pressured to have to interact with my friend. So let's go to the bedroom. So sissy i understand that that makes sense so i'm like okay let's go and i get up first no he actually says stand up first so i stand up first and then um he makes me pull him up you know which like at the time it was in my head it was innocent but like i feel like it was creating some sort of image that um I'm initiating all of this. I'm the one who wants all of this to happen. I'm the one who wants us to go to the bedroom. But whatever. You know, I didn't catch it at the time. I'm catching it now that I think of it now. Anyway, so we go to this guy's bedroom. We're just hanging out. We're chilling. We're kissing on the bed and whatever. And, you know, we go from base to base. Fingering. Um, no, he didn't go down on me at the time. I really wasn't about like I was very disgusted with the whole idea of vagina and our mouth having to go down there Ugh, No, so I was just like No, we're not gonna do that bit of shit, you know, so he's fingering me we're kissing literally we took off everything like I was naked first time I was ever naked with a guy and then he like yeah, he put on his condom like at the time i was not sure like the whole time i was just laying there and he was kissing me and my head was spinning like i was just overly thinking of everything and um what happened was eventually he slid in me and yo guys that like one stroke i felt like someone was breaking me or breaking a wall that's inside of me I don't know it's like after that experience I kind of like understood the whole concept of a hymen you know but like I've also now heard that it's a very soft like tissue layer whatever so now I'm also just standing here like I'm here like wondering what it was that he hit so bad that it hurt like because he slid in and I I was like oh and I pushed him off he jumped off he said sorry he took his like condom off like it was done there was nothing else that he could do because the pain was unbearable i was not gonna lay there and let him do that to me over and over again oh no, sorry but no it was really really sore very painful i haven't felt pain like that ever since then it was just like he was hitting onto a wall and he pushed like it's like there's a wall you hit it and then you push hard so of course i'm going to feel that pain and like it was really yo oh, wow unmatched 
Anyway, now fast forward to when I'm 21 and we're getting into this thing with my the now boyfriend, you know. So he had picked me up, we're at his house, you watch TV and whatever. So we go to bed now. When we're going to bed, like guys, not when I went there, in my head I was going for a sleepover, you know. And when I say sleepover, I mean sleepover ubutongo ukulala i don't mean sex you know so like i changed into my pajamas and whatever but he's sleeping naked and i i mean i'm just like do you boo i'm doing me too you know um then we kiss yeah we kiss we're like foreplaying. playing foreplaying. he's touching me I had my tightest underwear on, by the way, the tightest I owned. <laughs> like, I never sleep in that underwear. It was so uncomfortable. But on that day, I was on a mission. So I was not about to take it off. So, Uputi, I don't even know how he managed to push it aside so he could put his hand inside my vagina. But I guess where there's a will, there's a way, you know? <laughs> So he was fingering me, we were kissing and whatever. At some point he was on top of me and the next thing he was dry humping me, guys. Um to we are evil and I man. You know, you can see he's in the scene, he's in the mood. Like if you look at him, this is some sort of pleasure pleasure. And I mean I also kind of was like looking like i was enjoying it but in my head i was boost confused because what the fuck is going on in doni layans were up kind of naive i'm not like i never heard of this before so um do you try hump okay this a lot to learn and then eventually obviously i'm not here to have sex i'm here for a sleepover so eventually he's off of me and we're cuddling again we're kissing again and like in this whole process he keeps pulling my hand towards his penis and i keep pulling it back you know because why what are you doing where's my hand going in tony lena you know so but he's not stopping like i pull back he keeps pulling it so i'm eventually i'm just like booty what the fuck is going on when's antoni when's antoni you know and obviously I wasn't this blunt, but I needed to know. So he's like, I want you to touch it. Yo, guys, you should have seen him. He was in some sexual scene. He thought he was in a movie. <laughs> so teaching him like, you know, I've never done this before, ne? Ati, Ati, um, yeah, it's fine. I'll teach you. So I'm like, okay, fine. So this is me agreeing, but like I'm so reluctant to doing it. So eventually I do end up holding that thing. And can I tell you the moment I touched it? Even Dimlo. Even Dimlo. <laughs> I was I felt like some sort of expert. And he sealed the deal when he said, I thought um you said you had never done this before. So I'm like, yeah, but I a rocket science with you know and yeah that was the hand job i was giving a man a hand job for the first time and then um yeah that ends that fizzles out we fall asleep it's the morning guess what i have managed to pull off a sleepover but then like there's a man next to me you know and i'm feeling it you know so i'm just like in my head now this is me rationalizing things this guy didn't make me feel bad for saying no or for not wanting to have sex with him he didn't push things more than like more than acceptable for me and like he was okay with me like he was fine i was comfortable with saying no which should be the case but it isn't usually so like i don't know i guess that scored him points in my mind he was a decent guy for that so yeah he was a decent guy i was turning 21 like you know all these like he was, all the box were being ticked but not the box that i've made for myself really there were blocks that society has created you have to wait he has to deserve it and shit like that you know so he deserved it i had waited and i was just to myself 
there's no better time than the present. So I wake this nigga up. I'm just like, dude, we need to get into it. And then I think, eh, okay, are you sure? I'm like, sure, I am. He grabs a condom quickly on me, taking off my, I took off my own underwear because I was ready. Kissing, we're foreplaying, like it's really nice, but I'm very like scared of like actual penis penetration at this point because when I was 16 years, that experience, I'm very scared. So every time I feel his penis touching my vagina, I jump and I pull back. So it's just because I'm scared of that. It's not because I don't want to do this. But eventually I'm just like, okay, Solani, pull yourself towards yourself. You said you want this. Take it. Slid into me and avule gila masango. No pain. I was actually quite shocked. And I let him like now slide in and out. And it was six now. That qualifies as sex. Bendi nandos betuna. Chicken just waiting or taking it. And I mean, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest feeling on earth, but it was pretty pleasant. It felt good to be filled, you know? Um, yeah, and he was in and out, in and out until he came. And that was it. You know, I couldn't believe it actually. And. I I kept on zoning out thinking about what I had just done and I remember him thinking me zoning out means I want some more so he asked do you want us to do it again so I was like Ay, no you we did this you know I had had sex for the first time that was the first time I did the deed actually that was the true first time <laughs> I did the deed and I hope you enjoyed my story guys um, if you haven't please please like and comment on this video and please subscribe to my channel subscribe bani betuna ngoku like it's not gonna take long should you just a tap please thank you <laughs>